Hello everyone, welcome back to Gen X Games. Today we're going to be reviewing and doing a special project on the Atari 2600. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please stay tuned. There will be a slideshow of the top 10 games within the Atari 2600 system. So let's get into it. So this is the Atari 2600. It came out in 1977. We'll get into that very shortly. This is known as the four switch VCS model, which ran from 1980 to 1982. Uh, VCS is right there on the top. This is short for video computer system. Four switches, you have an on and off uh, switch. You have a color and black and white. You have game switch, uh, which uh, selects, uh, it will let you do the selection of what mode or uh, or what games that you wanted to play. And then we have the game reset button. I do not have the original box. We'll get into that in a second. But this is what I have right now. And uh, the special project we're going to be doing is we're going to piece this together. So let me just give you the go around real quick. I knew that was going to happen. Stay there. And this is what this system looks like. Now I do need to clean it up a little bit more better. But the inside is clean. The, the reader is clean. Um, this is what it looks like from the front. That's what it looks like from the side. These are the connections in the back. And this is from the other side. And not too much going on on the bottom. So yeah, this is going to be my project for the summer. And it will be on this channel. I'm going to show you new technologies on how to connect to like a newer television, let's say. You know, because now we are working with um, RCA uh, ports and HDMI cables and such like that. So those are going to be your features. So let's go and do some research, which is provided by Wikipedia. And we'll just get this moving on. So Atari Inc. was an American video game developer and home computer company founded in 1972 by Nolan Bushnell and Todd Dibney. Atari was responsible for the information for the video arcade and modern video game industry. The company is now known as Atari Corporation. Fun fact, the, word, the Japanese word Atari means neighborhood or in the same vicinity or the surroundings. The word Atari comes from the Japanese term while playing the ancient board game named Go. Not exactly sure what that is. Let's get into the release dates, shall we? Uh, the release dates for North America starts in September of 1977. In Europe, 1978, France, 1982, and Japan in October, 1983. Their version is known as the Atari 2800. The inductory price is $189.95. In today's money of 2022, that comes out to $906.40. The graphics were presented by television interface adapter. Resolutions were 160 by 190, 192 pixels. Uh, the CPU was an 8-bit MOS technology 6507 running at 1.19 megahertz. So that is what's on the inside pretty much. It's just a metal piece that goes across and there's like a rectangular box for the processor there. This 
system was my family's third system that we bought at the time. You know, we had nothing to play, you know, keep us entertained and stuff like that. So, Atari made about maybe 530 games. There will be a top 10 in a few moments. Now, before I move on, okay, I need a few pieces. Let me give you the rundown of the list of pieces that I need. I need a second controller because when this was first sold, it was sold with two controllers and a free game. That free game was uh, Combat. And then later on, they swapped it out for, uh, I believe it was um, Donkey Kong. It was either Donkey Kong or Yars Revenge. So one of those two games you got packaged with it. Donkey Kong was probably sold separately on top of that. The games are stored on the actual cartridges itself. They're eight big games. So the most advanced game is probably a little later on, like in a year or two or something like that. So, let me just run down a few things that I'm going to be needing. I'm going to be needing a new controller. I do have one laying around here somewhere. I need to find it. It's I'll probably hit it for myself. Um, uh, the AC power cable. Um, typically, this machine needs 7.5 volts to operate. Um, the cable that you get actually burns through the rubber casing of that wire so i need to find another wire that can produce 500 uh milliamps to actually get this thing to work again uh another thing is like i said the newer televisions they use the um rca connector ports or maybe you have a hdmi so in the past there was something called a UHF switch. If you do not know what a UHF switch is, let me just explain. So this piece right here would go into a rectangular metal box. And then on the top, it would say UHF. And then on the bottom, it would say VHF. On the top of that box were two prongs. And these two prongs had to be screwed into the back of your antenna uh, junction box, let's say. I'm, that's not the exact what it, what it is. But there will be two screws on the back of the television. You unscrew them. You, took the, you take the two prongs. You pop them in. Screw them back in. You turn your television on to channel three. And you test on whether if the system is going to show up on channel three or it's going to show up on channel four or or one because there used to be a one um if it didn't pop up on uhf uh UH, uhf excuse me it would pop up on vhf so you just switch down that piece may not exist anymore that piece was like a um option that you had to buy from radio shack back in those days so that was like an optional piece that you had to go get uh, nowadays, I may have to find a newer solution for that. You know, maybe I want to go to HDMI. They might have something for that. Maybe they, are, maybe I would want to go back to the standard um, uh, three RCA setup, or maybe they have a two RCA, uh, two, a two, uh, two wire component, which is uh, mono. One is mono, one is stereo. So I have to look for that. And the power cable. Now, another thing we're going to be restoring is the Donkey Kong. Do not have the original box, but this is what I have. This is the condition that it is in at currently, and you can plainly see that it is yellowing like crazy, but that can be fixed from videos I have seen in the past. Uh, I might need some masking tape to cover this up. And, you know, I'm going to try different uh, cleaning solutions to get this uh, white again. 
The other two games that I owned uh, at the time was uh, Combat. Which is something like Pong, but you have two tanks, you have obstacles, and pretty much you, you, you shoot and you can bounce the projectiles off the walls to hit your opponent type of deal. And Yars Revenge is like an early, early, early version of Space Invaders. Some people will probably disagree with that. It's a totally different game. And I will agree with you that. Those are the only three games I own. Now, like I said, they produced 530 games. There will be a top 10 slideshow. So I hope you will enjoy that. So for my final question is, have you played your Atari today? Hmm. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or subscribe to the channel. There will be more coming uh, as soon as possible. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Please enjoy this slideshow.